with head coach Chris England of the cross country team, the defending champion cross country team. We're getting ready for the 38th Georgia State Invitational this Friday. Tell us exactly where, when, what, how, all about the race that's coming up. Oh, this is exciting. This will be my fourth year as the meet director for the GSU Cross Country Invitational. So uh, each year gets better uh, and bigger and faster. Um, this year's event will take place on Friday, September 20th at Nash Farm Battlefield Park in Hampton, Georgia. Uh, about a 30 minute drive from downtown Atlanta. A uh, very historic um, Civil War era park. Uh, a lot of 18. 40s happenings down there, uh, but this weekend it'll be all cross country. Uh, the women's 4,000 meter race will start at 4 p.m. The men's 8,000 meter race will start at 4:30. Uh, we're very pleased with the teams that will be coming to compete against Georgia State at our home Invitational. First off, the SEC's Auburn University will be coming. They're very strong, uh, one of the top in the South, and uh, will definitely give Georgia State a run for the money. Also, we have some regional foes: Kennesaw State, Mercer, Georgia Southern. UT Chattanooga, uh, to name a few that will be filling the field. So we should have about 80 runners in all for both the men and for the women's races um, this weekend. Uh, the uh, Georgia State women are excited to defend their conference championship in uh, six weeks down the road. So running at home at the Nash Farm field uh, will be a great motivator for them. Uh, it'll be a great stepping stone on their way to repeating as conference champions. And it's also a great venue for their family and their friends to come watch them compete uh, in the blue and white of Georgia State. Cross country is a very strenuous sport. What's your strategy from when you start in August leading up to December? Because all races are not the same. So how do you approach in a sense, a marathon season? Uh, strenuous is an understatement. Um, these runners go from August to November, and then uh, actually they keep going till May uh, every weekend. So uh, because it is so strenuous, to be successful in November, the key is to stay healthy. Uh, no injuries, no sicknesses, etc. cetera. So um, all the runners listen to the coach uh, very uh, intrinsically and um, all of coaches' sayings and, and training, um, we start off the season light and then we pick it up throughout um, August, September, October, and then into the championship season. So uh, our key is to be at the best in November, not exactly September 20th, but I will know all runners will put in their best effort at the home meet. We're here with Neve Kearney from our cross country team. Georgia State's running its only home meet of the season this Friday. Tell us a little bit about the home course, what it's like, what advantage you might have as a runner. Um, yeah, we're running a 4K this weekend at Nash Farms Battlefield, so it's about 40 minutes away from Atlanta. So, yeah, we have an advantage over the other teams because the terrain there is quite difficult and, like, it's you don't see that when you get there. It looks flat and it looks like it's going to be easy, but once you start running, you realize, and if you go out too hard at the start, then the second lap you're going to be struggling so I think this weekend a lot of the teams coming might not know that and we might pick off a lot of the runners on the second lap so I think you touched upon it by being having six letter winners back from last year's championship team what did you guys do after the championship did you train a little different this summer have you approached this season with a different attitude or different strategies with with you upperclassmen um well we kind of kept it similar to last year because, I mean, we had the success. So, I mean, we don't try to change anything that's not broken. So this summer, a lot of us had to train by ourselves because we went home for the summer. But a few people living in Atlanta, they would train together and we kept in contact all summer. So that keeps us motivated. And then this summer, um, since we've been back here at school, we're like all training together again. And we're definitely motivated to repeat as champions. So we're just working hard every week and putting in all the work we can so that we can be in the best position to win again.